Hi, this is Raymond Rose. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about what you need to do to make sure that all of your data, your apps, your photos, everything that's on your iPhone is being backed up every single day into your personal iCloud account so that if your phone ever breaks or it's lost or it's stolen, you can feel confident that all your data is being safely stored in your iCloud account. So let's talk about the big picture first of all. Number one, you're going to want to make sure that your phone backs up automatically every single day into your iCloud account. You don't want to think about having to do it manually. You want it set up so that it happens automatically. And then number two, you need to make sure that every few days you go into your account to make sure that the information did back up because I'll explain to you shortly why sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to go through all that process. It's, it's not hard. Here's the, here's the exact steps you need to do. So first step is go to your settings app on your phone. The settings app is the most important app on your phone. I'm going to have some podcasts coming up about the, the other features, but go to the settings app on your phone, number one. And once you're in the settings app, I want you to click the app. And, I, and then when, you, when the app opens, the very top link should be your name. So again, hit the settings app. Very first top link is going to be your name. Number two, click the link that says your name and then scroll down several links to where it says iCloud. Number three, click the link that says iCloud and you'll be able to see how much of your iCloud account storage is currently being used and what apps are currently being backed up if they're being backed up at all. Number four, scroll down the page a little bit and then you'll see where it says iCloud backup. Number five, click the link that says iCloud Backup and make sure that it is switched into the on position. If it's in the off position, click it on. So that's what you need to do. Number That's part one. That's what you need to do to make sure your phone is programmed to back up automatically every single day. There's also a few other things in that uh, backup link that you can read about recovery mode and things like that. So those are the five steps you need to take Here's the process that I go through to make sure that my phone backs up every day. I suggest you do the same thing or something similar and stay tuned because I'm going to tell you in a few minutes why your phone doesn't back up. So what I do is this. When I go to bed every single night, I put my phone on the nightstand. I've got a charger outlet right there. I plug in the charger into my phone, number one, and I make sure that it is programmed, that it is charging. And then number two, I make sure that my phone is connected to my Wi-Fi network. If you do that, your phone should automatically back up every night while you're sleeping so that when you wake up in the morning, everything is being backed up. And like I had said in some of my other podcasts, I'm a power user. I use my phone for my calendar, my to-do list, obviously my photos, my email, everything is in my phone. So I want to make sure it's backed up all the time. And for me, what I do when I get up in the morning I actually go to my iCloud account and I check just to make sure it's been backed up because I wouldn't want to go a day or two or three and say, oh my goodness, it wasn't backed up. Something happens to my phone and then all of a sudden I'm out of luck. So there's the first process. Stay tuned. I'm going to tell you what you need to do to double check all this. But first, I'm going to take a quick break to say thank you for listening to this podcast today and to tell you that all of my podcasts are about helping you live a happy and focused life. For me, there's four areas of my life that are my priorities. Number one, I want to make sure I have excellent health. Number two, I want to have lots of free time. Number three, I want to be really smart about money. And number four, I want really good habits. Every day, I make a podcast for you that lasts just a few minutes. And each podcast is either about your health, your time, your money, or your habits. Please consider subscribing to my podcast by tapping the black button on the screen right now that says subscribe. And every day you'll get useful tips from me and the podcast is sent directly to your YouTube account. You can listen to all my podcasts anytime, maybe even while you're driving back and forth to work or shopping or while you're walking. And I promise there's never any spam. There's no junk email, nothing like that. So let's get back to our topic about backing up your phone. Here's why your phone might not back up. Very important. Number one, make sure that your phone is charging properly when you go to bed or whenever you're going to charge it. It's got to be plugged in. That's number one. And number two, make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi. I know once in a while if I'm out in public, I turn my Wi-Fi off because I don't want to be 
of doing um, important information through through a public Wi-Fi system, so I turn it off. I, I often remember to turn it on. So number one and number two, make sure your phone is plugged in properly, make sure the Wi-Fi is on. And here's number three, why it may not happen. When you go into your your iCloud account, like I showed you short short time ago, you might find out that you don't have enough storage space in your iCloud account. Maybe you've got too much backup already. Maybe you've got too much space being used for your photos or some of the other documents that you might not have room. And if that's the case, either A, you need to delete some of your photos or your documents to make room, or number two, you can always buy additional storage space directly from Apple. So that's really, really important. And also, while you're in your backed up link, there's also information about how you can immediately back up your iPhone. In other words, you can back it up anytime you want. That's number one. Number two, you can also use your cellular network instead of the Wi-Fi network if that's something you want to do. Number three, there's also important information there regarding recovery options. You might want to read that. And also, what I do is it tells you the day and time when your phone was last backed up. And that's what I said. I visit that link in the morning just to make sure that my phone backed up in the previous 24 hours. Because let's face it, it would take you dozens of hours of time, never mind the frustration that you would go through to gather all that information if you lost all the information that's on your phone. I can remember years ago when I had an iPhone 5S, I don't know, like maybe seven years ago, I dropped my phone in the water and my phone was totally ruined. Back, back then, it doesn't, didn't have the safeguards regarding waterproofing that most phones have today. I was fortunate though, once my phone was ruined, I simply drove to the Apple store. I did have to buy a new phone, but the, uh, the representative there just simply plugged my phone in. <clears throat> All the information that was in my phone that was ruined was transferred immediately into my new phone. I walked out of there in a short time with a new phone with all the information. It didn't need, there wasn't even a little hiccup in my life. So that's it for today. I'm hoping you found some value out of this podcast. Um, here's what I'd like you to do. If you thought that there was value here, please share this podcast with any of your friends, your coworkers, your kids or whatever. And um, I'm hoping that you'll join me in the future. Uh, if, if so, like I said, uh, hit, hit the subscribe button. If you found value in this podcast, I'd appreciate it if you would give me the thumbs up. And uh, number three, in the comments section below, please uh, critique me. Am I doing a good job? Was this important information that you found valuable? And then lastly, go through my uh, podcast site. I'm sure there's other podcasts there that might be very useful information for you. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. You, like I said, listen to this podcast again. Go through the simple steps. You want to make sure that your phone is protected. Thanks again for your support. This is Raymond Rose. I'll talk to you tomorrow.